Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over the July plan with me. Uh, a few things before we get started. I am going to be releasing a summer headers and icons. I've got a couple more designs to come up with, but once those are finished, I hopefully will have them done and up on the channel by next week. A couple of the de designs will be featured in this video, so keep an eye out for that. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of my pages. Any engagement that you do on this video helps me to get more eyes on my content and to be able to afford to keep making these videos. So I really do appreciate any feedback you do have. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and run the time lapse of me making my pages. Then I'm going to go over the quarterly since it's a new quarterly this month, and also then my monthly and daily pages. Here are the times for those, so if you want to skip ahead. If you don't like the time lapse, you can go ahead and skip to the quarterly and that'll start my explanation. I do apologize. My nails do not look that great. Uh, right now, usually I make sure that my nails look amazing, but I would rather focus on getting this content out and up on the channel than spending time painting my nails. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> Since this is going to be a longer video, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started.
just about finished with my pages. So we're going to go over the quarterly setup. Um, I took a few things out, but for the most part it hasn't changed too much. Um, I obviously this week, um, I haven't done this week yet, but this is going to be the end of my month. And the start of my new quarterly is going to be with my dates to remember. I did the overlay of the three next three months and started filling out days that I want to remember for the specific months. Really simple, easy page to do, a nice way to start off the quarterly. Next, I have my social media stat trackers. I've been keeping track of my social, social media numbers for my three businesses for, I think, over a year now. Um, my learning section where I am trying to learn something new every single week and the things that I've learned and want to work on um, are going to be right here. I really like this section. I do also put it in my weekly setup as well, but um, it's nice having it here too. I also have a little section for new YouTube ideas. I have a nice long list still going of ideas, so I don't need to do any brainstorming sessions. But every once in a while, something will just pop into my head and it's something that I want to remember for future YouTube ideas. So that goes there. Lastly, on the bottom, I have a wish list for me to write down any things that um, I would really like for my business, uh, such as equipment or software or um, anything that I think that I could use to help me create better content in the future. The last page that I kept from my quarterly setup was my cleaning schedule. I really loved this. I'm so glad somebody suggested it four months ago because it was one of my favorite pages in my quarterly to track um, my weekly cleaning, so uh, at least once a week I will clean the room, vacuum it up, pick up everything. Well, I, I tend to do about 15 minutes every single day, at least, sometimes an hour, where I clean each room, but I um, like do a basic pickup, and then once a week I try to do a decent cleaning and um, get vacuuming and washing things and such. Then once a month, I do a full clean where I move all the furniture and I get underneath the rugs and I get all the little nicks and crannies that don't get covered in the weekly clean. I also have a spot for one-time projects. I had a lot of one-time projects last quarterly because I was doing a lot of spring cleaning, but now that it is not spring cleaning anymore and I finished all those things on that list, I don't really have a lot of one-time cleaning projects, but if they pop up, I want them to go here. Lastly, I have a nice long list of decor projects. I haven't finished putting them all in here, um, but those are like my wish list of if I ever have free time, haha, -ha, <laughs> I will get to them and finish those off. A lot of these were on my other quarterly, and I still haven't finished them just because I don't have a lot of free time. Now, I normally do a YouTube schedule and ideas page and um, I've decided to take that out for this quarterly. I might end up putting it in the monthly again um, because I'm not using it as well as I was previously. So I didn't put it in here. I may put it in the monthly as we, the month goes on. But for right now, the last one still has a lot of videos that I still haven't finished, so I feel like I should just keep that page as it is rather than transferring over all the data and then just fill in the days as it goes. Uh, for those of you that are new, I'll show it to you. Um, basically what I do for my YouTube schedule is I put the title of the video I want to do, if it's been filmed um, already, when I want it to be edited and posted, and then when it's actually getting posted. And you'll see there's a nice big chunk of videos, um, and these are actually, most of them are already filmed, and they just haven't been planned or posted yet. Um, these were all supposed to get posted in the last three months, and I would say only about half of them, actually maybe a little more than half of them, got posted. So I'm just going to keep this um, especially since I have space at the bottom, and just use this page rather than recreating another one. Now I am on to my monthly setup. For my monthly setup, I continued to do the journal entry at the beginning of the month. I start the month off with a long sentence form rather than a bullet form 
entry on what I would like to accomplish and what my hopes are for that month. I'm going with a little beach theme for this page and for the month of July my colors are going to be teal and red and gold. Um, so I'm going to fill this in with a summary quote. I haven't picked one yet, um, but it's not July yet. Uh, I got one more week left, so I'm going to do some little quote hunting this week and then I'll fill this in. Next up is my monthly calendar. I use this to track the weather and the temperature every single day and it's just a fun little page to draw and warm up and I have been using it on and off. Some months are better than others, some weeks are better than others. I'll keep track of it for a while and then you'll see a couple empty boxes. Um, sometimes I just write it in if I don't have time to draw. So this is just a fun little thing for me. Um, and then at the bottom, the more important thing is listing out my monthly goals and then breaking those monthly goals down into tactics and then the tactics get moved into my weekly goals. Next is my July Memories. I actually really love this little header design. This is going to be one of the summer designs in the next Header and Icons videos. Um, video, I should say. Keeping up with the daily draw, I don't really use this anymore, but I keep it in here because I want the space to write down ideas if I need it. Um, plus the memories, sometimes if I have enough memories, then I'll bleed them in down here and, and that works just fine. My tracker, which has not changed at all for a very, very, very long time. Books watch movie, uh, books read, movies watched, video games played, and then my tracker. I did add a couple of different things and I still haven't filled in my color coding just yet. Um, if you want an example of that, I'm just going to wait until it gets a little closer to July, but you can get the idea of how the page is laid out. My page. This is what the color coding looks like in the previous month, and that is going to go right here. And now on to my daily slash weekly setup. Um, I didn't fill in, so I've got my two dailies ready to go. I've got my goals, and um, I also, since July starts on a Saturday, I'm just keeping this entire page for the weekend and then I'll start fresh with a full weekly spread on the next page. Um, I left room, I'm going to fill in a gratitude log here when it gets closer, but I want to basically, it says notes for next week, but honestly I'm probably going to bullet out my entire task list for July. Um, my schedule has gotten absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm working a couple of different part-time jobs. I have a lot of really awesome travel opportunities coming up that I'm saving up for. So I'm working really hard over the summer. Um, that means this channel is not my primary focus anymore. And so I still want to continue to put, put at least one video up a week. And to do that, I have to be very organized and I have to be very on top of my schedule and very good with time management. When I buckle down and I make my lists and I keep up with my journal, I am very organized and it works out very nicely. If I slip at all, <laughs> then things do not get done and I hate when that happens. So I really wanted to have a nice little page to write out everything that I want to accomplish this month and really focus on ticking off that list. I'm really interested to see how this month is going to turn out and how my busy schedule is going to affect my bullet journal because I have a feeling that these pages in this month is going to be very different than what I've done in the past just because I'm so busy. That is it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to make new content every single week. My goal is to post at least one video a week. I, you, I used to try to post two, but with everything that's going on, I think one video a week is fair and a more reasonable goal and expectation for you guys. I do have summer headers and icons coming up next. That's going to be at the beginning or Yes, at the beginning of the next week, um, probably Monday or Tuesday, I'm finishing up the designs tonight, and then I'm, I just have to sit down and film them. So that is coming for you to look forward to. Oh yeah, and this the, these two designs are going to be there too. A lot of beach themes, but also a couple of other gardening themes and fun things. 
As always, if you have any suggestions for future header and icons videos, or if you have any comments about my bullet journal, or if you have any ideas or suggestions for future bullet journal pages that you think uh, might be helpful to see, let me know because I actually want to get into the design phase of other pages that I might not need, like a study guide. I may not need that, but somebody else might find that helpful, and I'm pretty good at organizing a page, so if you would be interested in that, let me know. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remember to live, love, and travel on. Bye!